Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have a non-empty set X. Let me show it here. Okay, so we have this non-empty set X and two matrix D and D star are defined on this set X. Okay, so uh, the, they have given a condition that means K1 D of XY less than or equal to D star of XY less than or equal to K2 D of XY. This is true for all XY belongs to X and K1 and K2 are positive real number. I have written the given information here. Okay, and what is our target? Our target is to prove that D and D star are equivalent matrix. See, there are different different ways to prove that two matrix are equivalent. Either you can follow the definition. Definition says family of D open set is same as family of D star open set. Then we say two matrix are equivalent. Or see, there is one more way to prove the two matrix are equivalent. Let me tell you here. If you have any D open ball, okay, what I'm telling, if you have any D open ball, there should be one D star open ball, which is subset of this one having a same center. Okay. And if you have any D star open ball, there should be some D open ball inside D star open ball having same center. If this is true, then we can say uh, two matrix D and D star are equivalent matrix. Okay. We are go going to follow this second method to prove D and D star are equivalent. So let us take any arbitrary element. Let X belongs to capital X be any arbitrary element and I'm considering R greater than zero be any positive real number. Okay, then obviously, so therefore B X R is D open ball. Okay, so I have got one D open ball having center X radius R. So we have to find one D star open ball, which is subset of this one having a same center X. So for that, I'm going to take let R1 is equal to K1 into R. Okay, or you can say R star. R star is equal to K1 into R. Okay, so yes, by taking this K1 is greater than zero. Clearly, we have K1 is greater than zero. Our R is also greater than zero. So R star is also greater than zero. So R star is a positive real number, right? So uh, then, then D star, okay? with center X and radius R star is D star open ball. Okay, so we got one D star open ball having a same center X. Now our target is to prove that this D star is subset of B. Claim, I will call it as claim. So now my claim is B star X R star subset of B X R. Okay. So now how to prove one set is subset of second, we take any arbitrary element from first set and we prove that it is in second set. So let us take one point P. So let P belongs to B star X R star, right? So P belongs to that ball. That means definitely distance of P from the center of ball is less than its radius. So therefore we can write distance D star since it is a D star open ball. So D star x comma p is less than r star right but see d star of xp d star of xp you can easily see d star of xp is greater than or equal to this one so from one what can we write so therefore k1 d of xp is less than or equal to d star of xp is less than r star i can write from one okay from one See, A less than B, B less than C. So, obviously, we write A less than C. So, therefore, what can we write? K1, D of XP, directly we can write this is less than R star. But see, what is our R star? Our R star is equal to K1 R. Let us put its value there. So, therefore, K1, D of XP is less than K1 R. Can we cancel K1 from both sides? Yes, definitely. It's positive real number. We can cancel K1 from both sides. So D of XP is less than R. So distance of P from X center of ball is less than radius. That means point P lies inside a ball. So therefore, P belongs to open ball with center X radius R, okay, which is a D open ball. So uh, we proved that that B star X R star subset of B X R. So yes, we, we had taken one point from this ball and finally we proved that it is in D open ball. So therefore, therefore we can write our conclusion here. B star X R star subset of B X R. Getting? 
So we proved that here. We proved that any D open ball contains D star open ball. So now we have to prove the converse part. That means any D star open ball contains D open ball. Okay. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. See now I have considered one D star open ball. Okay. Why be any point of X R star be any positive real number. So open ball with center Y radius R star. Okay. In a matrix D star. So that's why we call it as a D star open ball. Okay. So now we have to find one D open ball, which is inside, which lies inside this D star open ball. So let us take late R is equal to R star by K2. See K2 is positive real number. So that's why we can take it in denominator also. Denominator is greater than zero. Numerator is also greater than zero. So obviously R is also greater than zero. So therefore we can say therefore B Y R is D open ball. Okay. D open ball. So we have got one D open ball. So now simply we have to prove that that D open ball is subset of D star open ball. Okay. So this thing, this relation we have to prove here. Okay. So how to prove one set is subset of other? We take any arbitrary point. We will follow the same technique here. Getting? We will follow the same technique. So see, let us take one point. Let P belongs to B Y R. Point lies in this D open ball. So that's why distance of P from center of ball is less than its radius. So therefore, distance between P R, uh, sorry P Y. I should write P Y is less than R. It is a D open ball. So that's why use D here. Getting? See, but what is definition of R? Definition of R is R star by K2. So let me put it here. So therefore, D P Y less than R star by K2. So we can shift K2 here. K2 is positive real number. So that's why if you shift it here, the same inequality will be maintained. Okay. So yes. Yes. Let me write here. So therefore, K2, what we have D of P comma Y is less than r okay but have you seen this term anywhere k2 into d yeah it is here getting so already we have called it as equation number one k2 d of xy is greater than or equal to d star of xy so therefore we can write d star of p comma y less than or equal to k2 of d of py right py uh yes yeah r star i should write here r star right yes is less than r star yes okay so that this thing we have got okay i should mention here from one from one so you know that a less than b b less than c so a less than c so therefore we can write d star of p y is less than r star so distance of point p from y which is center of ball is less than its radius that means point lies inside a ball so therefore point p lies inside a ball okay so which is d star open ball so that's why i'm writing in this way with center y and radius r star actually we had taken point from this d open ball and we proved that it is in d star open ball so that's why this d open ball is subset of d star open ball so therefore therefore b y r subset of d star y r star so here we proved that any D open ball contains D star open ball and any D star open ball contains D open ball. So therefore we can say yes, D and D star are equivalent matrix. So our conclusion is therefore D and D star are equivalent matrix. Okay. Yes, proof is over here. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.